Um, yeah, my Twitter is uh, StatSmash, and you can follow uh, my Reddit posts uh, after every tournament. Certainly, we will be getting the other commentators in shortly. <laughs> All right, good, good stuff, guys. All right, grand finals. Charlie the King versus Key. Fox versus Wolf. How do you think about this matchup? This is not Fox versus Wolf. Bro, this is dead ass B. Yeah, you're right. It's Snake, Snake versus, versus Wolf. Wolf. It's two animals. <laughs> Only one of them is an animal. Okay. One's named after an animal. Same thing. He never asked for the name. <laughs> you can tell, man. His name was David. They were just like, oh, bro, you Snake. Like, <laughs> David. That's well, his name, too. <laughs> Like a blue snake. I was like, alright, man. You're like, like, you're so aggressive. I, I just want to be mean. Snake's not aggressive? <laughs> Who told you this lie, bro? This character does not play like how he does in his own game. Snake is a stealth assassin. He's out here playing Michael Bay movies. Mm hmm. Oh. But this game's going pretty well. You know, Charlie. It's so, it's so even. Like, you're. It, oh, got him with Bruh. the down throw. You can't, you can't get caught sleeping. He'll play to sleep. I know what it feels. <laughs> G Kanye, I know what it feels like. <laughs> Remember, follow my Twitter. It's, it's Mr. Rogers now. Remember, follow my Twitter, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Mr. J underscore Rogers. Like my tweet. The J is silent. <laughs> the J is silent. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> After the throw Django and Chain reference there, but anyways. Yes. <laughs> Back to the match. Oh, got him with the up tilt. Up tilt for up tilt, man. Mm hmm. I was like, I got that too. But now all the stage control coming in for Key. You know, every time you're losing a snake, he always adds like twice the amount of damage than he normally does. Yeah. Because, you know, it just works like that. Ooh, nice get up attack though. Oh no, that reflector probably made it stronger. Oh, caught him with the up air too. So the funny thing about explosions in this game, I'm sorry. Explosives in this Woo! game is that um, you can reflect the item that, that they actually hit some. But you can reflect the explosion sometimes. Mm -hmm. So like Link's Bomb, Snake's Grenade, those are things you have to like watch out for. Mm -hmm. Oh, Got him with the up throw up air. Simple combos and still keep it going. All that damage that looked like it was happening before. All that extra credit that he could have got. Nearly the wall, uh, falling away. Drop Grenade, I like that. Mm -hmm. Gets off the ledge here. And it's oh. really good for him to drop the grenade there oh, because no. he leaves a trail of breadcrumbs. For Charlie to follow right into his like snakes percent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. And now he's still just keeping him on the ledge. This is where he wants him to be. Oh, he didn't want to fall off though. I don't think that's where he wanted to go. Okay, oh, that's I, it. no, actually the reason why he did that setup there is because the knockback that Charlie would have taken from the Nikita, I'm sorry, from the actual cipher, would have knocked him into the position where the C4 was, but unfortunately um Charlie knows, like, okay, hold up. If I just go down smash here, I will uh, cipher away. Mm hmm. Just, oh, great awareness coming in from Key right there. Just mm -hmm. dropping that C4 right on his face. And just immediately proccing it, too. Yeah. And that's how you get quick stocks with Snake. Gotta catch your opponent sleeping. Not only that, too, it was like Snake. I'm um, sorry, Snake. Key knew that Charlie was gonna come from the ledge. And obviously chase him down. So he, like I said, right, he left the trail of breadcrumbs in the form of grenades, and Charlie walked through all of them. <laughs> it's but like it, at this point, right, like you kind of have to think about the risk reward for Charlie, right, like what he was looking for in that interaction. Mm -hmm. uh, different stage, Kalos. We'll see how things play out here. Yeah, a lot of people like counterpicking Snake into the stage because it's kind of similar to like it has that big center area of like just wide openness that like FD has. But you kind of have, like, you could get stuck on those little platforms. Especially with, like, if he puts a C4 on there, that's kind of hell. <laughs> you can't really jump. You can't really go down. If you do a neutral get up, he can still blow it all up. Yeah. It, 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 the, I feel like Snake has no bad stage. It's, and that's kind of like the... It's kind of like the one of the saving factors for a snake in this uh, in this game. Oh, got him with the grenade. Okay. Like, Sheik, I never believed Sheik had a bad stage in this match for Tell me otherwise. Oh, wait. I thought so. Uh, oh, wait, no. Battlefield. I mean, not Battlefield. Um, Dreamland. Dreamland was terrible for Snake. I mean, for Sheik. You couldn't do the fair You couldn't do the fair chain as constant because, you know, sometimes the wind would blow. Oh, also, woods. Yeah. And also, just the stage is was just not good enough. It wasn't, like, that good for her. 
like the platforms were kind of awkward areas, and there's a forward smash catching that neutral get up. I digress. We'll go back to this match. <laughs> I could I could talk about everything all day, but we still got a match in front of us. Oh, man, I always feel like Snake is just anti ADHD. Like if <laughs> yeah. If you do not have an attention span, you cannot fight Snake. That is true. <laughs> if you're not paying attention to anywhere Snake is placing his grenades or a C4, mm -hmm. you will suffer. This is great adaptation from Charlie because he knows if I give Keith all the respect, he's gonna. I'm going to give him time to set up, right? And having a stage like Kalos, having the ability to move around mm -hmm. in such a big space, kind of pays off its dividends here. Ooh. That was he, good. That was, that was he good. He read the hell out of that roll. <laughs> but not really working out for him. Ooh, both players try just trying to get like some little love tap on each other. Nice and there, falling there coming in from Key though. Trying to get that landing option. Charlie trying to find a punish, getting a grab off of it. Mm -hmm. This is spot dodge, down smash. Charlie is never afraid to go for those because Sneak does, is pretty tall. He does put out his hurt box out there after he lets go of Cypher. So having the down smash also stops Cypher but also gets Snake is really good for him. Mm-hmm. Oh. Throwing out Nikita. The this is one. like one edge guard away from Snake. Literally just making, taking this over. Man, imagine dying because you jumped. Oh, there's the bear, and that's going to take a Imagine dying fight. because you let go of shield. <laughs> For real, though. <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> if I if I let go of shield like half a frame earlier, I would have parried it. <laughs> that is true. <sighs> Snake. Good character. Top five character in the game, in my opinion. Find me otherwise. I I do not disagree with you. I I'm saying, do not disagree. So that means I agree. Double negative equals a positive. Yeah, yeah, I was right. I was gonna say, man, like you might want to ask your English professor, like, yo, man, how do I how do I uh, properly formulate this sentence here? <laughs> like, like, how does one talk? <laughs> like, <laughs> what are words? <laughs> like, <laughs> Like, how can I be a commentator oh. if I can't even talk? <laughs> oh, man. I but. do like the... F so, once again, like, we did see the trailer bird comes led out by Key there. And it's also good because, like, it's he can punish Charlie for going for an aggressive option off the ledge, but also punish Charlie for going out of ledge. And he sets up for roll get up, move to get up. Ooh. Especially because you can cover so much ground with sneak dash tackle, which you get up. Oh, Ooh, that, he was, just, that ooh. was a DI mix-up. Yeah. That was a DI mix-up. Oh man, that was great stuff. Oh man, he went for the. I think he would have died. He would definitely yeah. died for that one. But Charlie taking the early stock, and it is going to help him out very much, because as much as Snake is really good at pulling away from the like, with the lead, it's also not as good as like getting that lead back. Yeah. Because like most of his stuff comes from trades. Oh, no oh my untuckable. gosh, that was untouchable. Got that red splash. And now it's, uh, this is looking rough for Key. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, usually people, usually you say, oh, you can come back from anything. This is going to be a little hard to come back from. Yeah, honestly, Charlie's playing really aggressive. And like I mentioned earlier, right, that down smash is honestly paying his dividends. Oh, what a great stall going back and forth from the stage in order to keep your double jumps. Mm -hmm. That way he can time himself with Cypher and meet up that down air. That's why Charlie was going for that stall right here. Mm -hmm. He went back and forth from the stage, then he waited. He was like, okay, fine, now's my time to go in. But like I said, he's kind of covering Key's recovery from going low. And not only that, that's kind of forcing Key that if he does go high, Charlie's looking for the back air. Mm -hmm. And like, it's going to be really hard for, with all the shield pressure that Charlie's been putting on Key, like it's going to be a bit tough because you will get, like, Snake, being a tall dude, he will get shield poked for no reason sometimes. Yeah. But that's why it's also important to angle your shield too in this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, angling shield is very important. Is a very important skill in this game in particular. Well, game four here. We'll see if Key what Key has been conditioned to do against Charlie because, like I said, right, Charlie has been going for down smash, and even if it doesn't connect, right, he still keeps it up. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of interesting that Key would go for this as a counter pick when Charlie went for this as a counter pick earlier and won on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that oh, was no, a, he, had a he had no jump. And we even saw earlier after game game three there, he kind of psyching himself up. And he's like, hold on, man. I really just let Charlie get this three stock over me. Yeah. A little bit too easily. 
I, 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 actually, I don't remember if it was three stars. I'm so sorry, but like it literally felt. It like was hard. a three star. Yeah, yeah, it was. So he's like, he kind of had to tell himself, like, all right, man, time to wake up. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, we can't be handing out free games like that, dude. Yeah, we ain't game stuff out here, bro. Mm -hmm. There are no power to any players, man, except bad trades. Mm -hmm. And now key, like pulling away with this lead, like that last game didn't happen. Yeah. And like, it comes down to the mind game, too. Like, okay, I'll, I have to suck myself up because I did so much wrong there and then just suck yourself back, back in. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what sometimes some players do. They take a brief moment to understand, like, okay, I did so, thing so many things wrong. Mm -hmm. Man, it's so insane how much, like, momentum you get, like, from going up and then oh. using Cypher. Oh, great. Air dodge coming in from Key. Ooh, Circle it around? Yeah, yeah. that's not going to happen. And that recovery is not going to happen. Nikita's too strong. And the way that Charlie was sent out, he was only forced to go for Wolf Flash. So, mm -hmm. unfortunately, he was going to have to fight his way through uh, the Nikita missile. Oh, couldn't get that grab. But there's that a death That was back. so... Okay, that was actually really smart because he pulls, placed Grenade there knowing that Charlie would stop, respect Grenade, and then immediately chase him off the side of the stage. Mm -hmm. Just, like, just kept going after him. And it's working really well. Oh, there's that bear mm -hmm. off stage. What is he going to do with it? Yeah, down there's there. the that's, dare. Yeah, like I'm saying, right, like you would think at this point he would be conditioned to go for the high recovery, but you have to worry about wolf back air mm -hmm. as well. And the way that Charlie has been conditioning key to, you know, like, okay, if you're going to go down, I have all your options covered. I have down air. I have down smash. Mm -hmm. And Charlie is really good at, like, just covering every type of recovery. It's just, and sometimes, like, you just have to accept the stock being lost, you yeah. know? Like, you know, you can't, like, it, he kind of had too much time on his hands. Yeah. But now he's stuck on the ledge, and Charlie is definitely at a percent deficit. Ooh, oh, got the down smash. And the tech chase, too. Oh, nice. Oh. He's looking for the grab, too, or the out of shield option. Mm -hmm. At that point, we saw how key. Oh, wow, he came back and killed yeah. him. Man, grand finals reset. Mm-hmm. That was a, yo, that was a fast set. <laughs> yeah. Um. He had a really good edge guard thing that I wanted to put out to know. He set up two grenades to cover Charlie's roll. And then, of course, because of how Cavalus works, he could have covered his getup option too as well. Mm -hmm. And then covered neutral getup. And the way he had it set up, like I said, he leads a trail of breadcrumbs by grenade. Charlie stayed calm that entire interaction, held on to ledge, and waited to see how he was going to respond. That's how Charlie is playing the matchup. He's covering his recoveries. Mm -hmm. He's covering his timing. He's covering his landing. And he's respecting the bomb. He's yeah. respecting the grenades. And that's why we saw it too, because we saw the grenade there, and he immediately just walked away. He's like, you know, I don't want to worry about it at all. And if you're like, if you're watching Charlie, you're seeing like how he's kind of counting the one, two on the grenades, yeah. right? So like when he knows, okay, this is a great time to be aggressive. This is the time where I'm just gonna just keep laying it on him. And then once the bombs explode, he kind of respects them, gets a grab, or just finds a different way to get in. Oh man, and Charlie is already 148% on the snake. He having a, a pretty rough time right now. There? Oh, no. no, he couldn't. He, he actually, went. Yeah, he, he went. Yeah. He went off a little early. Yeah, he did. Oh, that's a a little uh, ambitious roll. Oh, he almost reading. A, he was uh, expecting Charlie to get scared and try to jump. A very popular option for uh, people stuck in shield. Yeah. Oh, missed out on that Nair. Couldn't do anything else. Oh, now he's off stage. That's oh, not what he wanted. That's not where he wanted to be. Go use some directional air dodge, though, to move, move himself a little bit earlier there and not have to worry about the end line. Oh, back throw. That's unfortunate for Key right there. He had the ledge trap, but he did. got punished for it. Charlie is starting to see the cracks in Snake's armor here and able to get uh, pretty much a pretty... What we saw was the dominant, like, 3-0, three, oh, three, reverse 3-0 oh, almost. Mm -hmm. Revert, almost, because Key had all games. Oh. Got him with the with the forward tilt. Now he's punishing all this damage. Oh, that would have been the earliest of stocks. Yeah. But Charlie realizing if I keep pulling forward, I'm gonna get destroyed. Charlie just waiting on ledge, hoping he was gonna get a neutral get up or a roll. <laughs> Don't you love it when snakes just like parry their own grenades? Like. It's like a whole new sense of swag, right? It's like, <laughs> I know my timings. Right. I know my timing. I know what time to come in at the Supreme Store. Mm -hmm. How many people are going to bring in to buy the extra shirt? Yeah, like... I know what I'm selling. Oh, back throw. What's he going to do? Oh, yo, blowing himself up. Good stuff coming in from Kate. Yeah. Oh, oh, what a trade. 
half a second, that would have been perfect for a key. Yeah. Oh, no, DI in. You can't DI in that up smash. You will die. I was going to say, trade in terms of like stage positioning because Charlie was the one pretty well rested. Mm -hmm. And then Key's like, hold on, man. I actually want to come back on the stage. You can get out here. Oof. He has been practicing a lot of uh, snake setups, if you guys have been following him on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Ooh, back throw. That's going to be the stock for sure. Oh, man, <laughs> the explosion made it a little worse. Yeah, as a, as a little bit of an insult to injury. Yeah. That, that, that low-key betrayal. Ooh. Now just throwing out fares. Charlie just trying to fight him. Playing like a sword character. But now he's off stage. How is he going to get back on? Being on the ledge against Key is absolute hell. Ooh, if Key was a little closer, he would have caught that. Yeah. Try to make a little recovery here. Able to come back on the stage. Take center stage here. And unfortunately, kind of got caught at the end like a blaster. Oh, that B reverse up B was interesting. Like, it almost killed him because he almost missed out on the angle. Mm -hmm. Nice. Catches. Oh, there's a bear. Oh, oh, bad DI. Yeah. I think Charlie was trying to like reverse, like trying to space himself back for a bear, but Key's bear came out qu quicker. <sighs> and we're going back to FD. So. But look at how, I mean, that's one thing I'm, I'm kind of appreciating. Three? I'm that was game two. <laughs> that was game, no, that's game one. No, no, we're on game two now though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but what were you saying? One thing I appreciate about Key here is his ability to kind of psych himself back in and not really just give up just yet. And he did talk about it recently on his Twitter, like how he's been feeling pretty lazy in the game and how he wants to really come back and start up strong. You know, no more slacking off. And Charlie on the same mindset too. Honestly, some of these, as we've been seeing in the story in SoCal, right, like the rise of the unranked mm -hmm. and the ranked players kind of taking a little bit of a backseat. We're seeing Charlie and Key demonstrate like their determination to come right back. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, SoCal's, SoCal's unranked is our best region. Yeah. Best region in the world. It is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I've the been, Nikita. I've been telling him every single time he's been catching Cypher with down smash, and even if it fails, Charlie knows what it means when it does land. Mm -hmm. it's a, it means a stock. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. And this is this is where he, like, oh, toss me one. struggles. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is those, those gummy worms? Can I have a gummy worm? Thanks, Did you buy enough for the, the giant? Did you, oh. No. He didn't have enough for the whole class. Mm hmm. Thanks, Muffin. Shout out to Muffin from Mars. Follow him on Twitter. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I think he has it in his bio still. Play Thrasia 776. <laughs> Ooh. Got him with the, with the strong hit, but. Didn't get him with the spike hitbox. Ooh, that up air probably would what not probably like would have killed. This time we see Charlie play a little bit of respect here because he knows what it mm. means to try to come back to the stage that aggressively. So he's going to go ahead and reset himself at the ledge and look at the trade-off that he makes for. Yeah, once again, once Charlie gets that early lead with all that extra credit, it's not really much he can do about it. Oh, this, mm. is, this is the entire Michael Bay franchise right here, man. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that up, re I mean, that recovery... <laughs> Going down and snapping a ledge, that's actually pretty hard to do. Yeah. Like, because most people would act would accidentally hold down and then just fall to their death. But up throw, up air. Still putting in this pressure. Oh, the same key released a little bit early. Good counter play. Mm -hmm. Normally you would see an opponent could be conditioned right to start making the high recoveries, but this time Ken is like, okay, hold up. I might have to release a little bit early and use a rectal under dodge. And that's something we might be seeing a little bit more here. Mm -hmm. Oof. But he needs to be careful about that because if Charlie goes for that down smash and hits um, the Cypher again, he will die. Mm -hmm. Oh no. A little I like early. it sets up that high recovery yeah. too because he knows. Oh, got him with a grab, and yeah. then he's off stage yet again. He knows he has to do shield getup because at this point he has to be a little bit defensive. Oh, no, he, <laughs> he lets this man walk all across the stage only to be hit by C4. That's that's mind games. That is uh, that's that ADHD factor right there. Dude, that's that's playing Battleship. Yeah, that's playing Battleship, literally. Ooh, there's the nair. 
Getting him off stage, no grenade in hand. As I talked about earlier, right? He's going to be releasing it a little bit earlier to make sure he gets the recovery. Mm -hmm. Oh, missed out on the grab. That was safe. Oh, Key trying to get a. He needs to get a stock as ASAP. Empty hop, I like it. Mm -hmm. Waiting it out. Oh, that was an unsafe up, uh, up air coming in oh, from Key. And, and there's an up air then to take out the stock. This is something that we're seeing from Charlie here and the continued trend. Cover the low reg. Oh, what the heck? Oh, bro, you here? I don't even know this. <laughs> um, he covers the low with down smash. Mm -hmm. And not only does he cover the low with down smash, right? He covers it with down air, as we've been seeing, as from um, from winner's side, mm -hmm. loser's side. He's very sparingly with the down air because he knows he's very like, okay, hold up. I and mean, he's letting the cipher go a little bit early, but Charlie still has the high recovery cover. Mm -hmm. That's where it's coming down to. Even if his opponent is well aware of what's going on, Charlie is not slipping up. Mm -hmm. And no, I talked about it, right? It comes down to mind games. She says, fine, if you don't want to have to go for that low recovery, I still have something else covered. Mm -hmm. like, I, I, you will never be able to do this ever again. Exactly. Oh, there's the dare coming in. and that, oh! oh, this man stepping all over somebody's face. Yeah, that, that was that was that instinct right now. Like, we're like, oh, I need to get out of here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looking a little even right now. But if Charlie is like... Like Jesus Christ incarnate and just times it perfectly, he could shoot the grenade out of his hand and blow it right in Keith's oh, face. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, you just said Jesus Christ incarnate, but wouldn't he just be Jesus Christ? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it just makes no sense. I'm sorry, bro. Like, I really have to stop myself and think about it. Wouldn't this man just be Jesus Christ at the point? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. All right, anyways. <laughs> Biblical jokes aside. <laughs> <laughs> He's still going. Got him with the up tilt. Yeah. That 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 up tilt still gross. I, I out of every move in this game, like I can't stand things up tilt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bro. I, if you were playing, if you were playing brawl, dude. I was. I did play brawl. That's where I started. <laughs> I feel like I, call me call me. Look, I'm gonna get called out one day. I might lose followers for this, but I think brawler brawl was a boomer game. A boomer game. Yeah, it was, dude. <laughs> brawl vets really out here trying to tell me, yo, man, I'm a brawl vet. Where's my where's my seating? <laughs> <laughs> really? I, I'm, I'm calling him out, bro. Bro, like, I, I started like I started at the end of Brawl. I started when it was PM. And Charlie like, started right now with that new chair. Predicts that, predicts that side recovery. Dude, he has every single spot that he wants to go ahead and make a recovery just covered. Mm -hmm. Honestly, when it's coming down to the offstage game, I kind of want to see he start implementing those Twitter techs he's been showing off lately, right? Setting up the grenade, making sure he can catch it right back up, and things like that, just to make a little bit of counterplay to make sure he does come back on the stage. The Oof. Yeah, that, that, was a, that was a bit of a chic combo right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, people did say Wolf is kind of the chic of the species. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in this game, for sure. Oh, there's the bear. Off stage, a little. This is gonna be a little Down tough. Air. And there's the bear. I told there. you. I told you. He knows every single time. He, he had the sides. He had the air. He had the ground, dude. My man Charlie looks like an impenetrable fortress. I, where I think he messed up is where he threw that grenade. Yeah, he did. Yeah, like that. That throwing grenade, like it was like, you know, where you want to kind of like recover as low as possible. But it gave him. It gave Charlie enough time to run at him. <laughs> like if you kind of. If he recovered a little earlier, he would have been able to like probably air dodge under the ledge and been stuck on the ledge, but you wouldn't have lost the stock. Yeah. We'll see game four here. We'll see if we get game five from Key. Honestly, for Key, right, the adaptation that I'm looking to see here for the reverse grenade, Charlie's right there to find him for it. Oh, man. And he takes the percent. It's still going. No, uh, Snake's weight was going to be the one thing that allowed Key to survive here. Mm hmm. But he still he still ate a hundred nine percent right there. Mm -hmm. Like he, he grabbed him from a mile away. Ooh, bear! Oh, air, that's yep. a that's not the trade key one. That is a good trade though. Mm -hmm. Get stage control percent on snake. The grab. Excuse me, sir. Where are we going? Does oh. Charlie find the recovery? I like it this time. A little bit of respect, but he adapts to that. That's one thing we haven't been seeing. Connected down smash. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. oh, he just did not respect that re that ledge trap at all. Yeah, he didn't even respect the range too. Mm -hmm. That, but it's an or orthodox option, right? It's something you wouldn't be able to predict. Mm -hmm. Going first, um, wolf flash like that to come back on stage. <laughs> he said, 
Pre press the button. I dare you. I dare you. I triple dog dare you. I'll hit you with this up till all day. Yeah. Oh, missed out on the on the the wolf basic combo. Oh, oh. no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Still going. I saw the double jump too because he was either looking to set up the back air or the down air. Great mm -hmm. stuff from Charlie. Kilo looking to come back in. I like this neutral air. I'm. Oh. You know in those awkward moments where you roll at the same time and you don't know where who's landing where? <laughs> <laughs> it happens, man. Oh, there's a little low. No, but this this time Charlie mm -hmm. once again respects it. Adaptation being made here. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. getting him with the grab. I, I respect it too because he had grenade there and he was looking to see how Charlie was going to play around it. Yeah, Charlie not going to go for anything too crazy, but yeah. he going for uh, a lot of plays rising here. dare. Oh man, that's unfortunate for Charlie. Caught him on the recovery. Got hit, hit him with a two frame and caught the jump with the up air. Good stuff coming in for Key. Mm -hmm. Ooh, grenade to up tilt. Man, like everything into up tilt is uh, crazy. Actually, grenade is such a good has such a good like knockback where you could basically follow up follow up with anything. Yeah. At least on these early percents, you know. Oh, oh bears. Looking a little scary. Key trying to close out this game because he does not want he does not want to get robbed right now. Yeah. Dash tax. Once again, sets up the trail. Bread comes by grenade. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he wanted to stall that out as long as possible. Yeah, that, that was good, but he did not get the sweet spot of up air. Mm -hmm. Also try to get a sweet spot of bear too. That would also kill. Throwing all these grenades, just trying to catch whatever um, ledge option Charlie's trying to get it. Uh, trying to get back with. Oh, oh, he just keeps chasing him. He does not care. Man, and how fast Snake's dash attack is in this look game how fast is insane, Charlie, but he got him with a dare. I was going to say, look at how fast Charlie took stage control off from, away from Key. A back air and a down air away, and the minute he had to come in for the low recovery, he already knew. It mm -hmm. was already sealed the deal. Yeah, it was just, it, like, as soon as Charlie, like, got him with that chase, my, my it was done. My man Charlie went for the business deal. The seven yeses means the sale has been sold. Go for the down air. By now. What did you just say? What did that even mean? Go to sleep, Vance. You're yeah, tired. I am. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted, bro. Well, everybody, that was Hat. I hope you liked our tournament today. It was pr doing pretty well. Um, catch us here next week. Follow me.